everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Umberto Giannini. I'm going to be showing you guys a full wash day routine, wash and style, and a refresh routine to show you how you can use one of their gels two ways. So without further ado, let's get started. So first for washing, we're going to start off with the Curl Repair Shampoo. This has seaweed, wheat bran, and caffeine. The shampoo is going to help repair and strengthen your hair as well as help stimulate new growth. If you guys know me, you know how obsessed I am with healthy scalp, healthy growth. And this shampoo is right up my alley. I absolutely loved how beautiful of a lather and foam this created. My hair didn't feel stripped or dry whatsoever. It just felt so soft and cleansed. As you can see, I grabbed my shampoo brush, which I think is super important and key to having a healthy scalp. I really like to get in there and scrub my scalp pretty thoroughly to make sure I'm getting rid of any dirt, product, anything that's left on my scalp. I want a squeaky, squeaky clean scalp here. And next, I am going in with the Matching Curl Repair Conditioner. This conditioner has all of the same goodies as the shampoo. It really helped soften my hair. I feel like my hair just felt super buttery. And I think this is a great option for my curlies that are also on the finer side as well. It's not gonna weigh your hair down at all. To top off this wash routine, I'm going to go in with the Curl Magic Repair and Grow Deep Conditioner. I loved how creamy and thick this deep conditioner was. It just felt like butter on my hair. And I'm going to detangle my hair, let it sit for about five or so minutes, and rinse it out. And I'll be right back to show you guys my styling routine. Now I'm gonna go in to style with my favorite product from Umberto Giannini. This is their Banana Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Ugh, I'm obsessed, you guys. The creaminess, the fragrance, everything about this honestly entices me. And the second I got it, I was like, I'm gonna fall in love. And I was right. This banana butter leave-in has some amazing ingredients. It is, of course, a banana. It has shea butter, coconut oil, kapuwasu butter, and Brazil nut oil. It's really gonna repair and moisturize your hair as well as shine. And of course, that moisture. This is such a moisturizing leave-in. It honestly worked so well on its own. I didn't even use a curl cream and my hair was buttery. So buttery soft, I cannot even express how soft. I wish you guys could feel my hair through the screen. That's how soft it is. I honestly think this is my softest routine I've ever done. My hair has never felt so soft. Last, I went in with their Curl Jelly Scrunching Jelly. This is a cult favorite. I'm sure you've already heard of it. And for good reason, it provides a wonderful medium hold, beautiful shine, and wonderful definition. For this specific wash routine, I went in with my normal techniques, which is praying hands and raking in the gel. But if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I do show you guys a refresh routine where I actually scrunch in this jelly. And you 
guys, these are my finished day one results. My hair is so, so soft. It is just so soft, so smooth, and very shiny. It gave me pretty decent day one volume, and I just love how my hair feels. Obviously, I love the way it looks, but the way it feels just really stands out to me. If you're someone that really doesn't like the feeling of any hold in your hair, but still likes hold, these two products are it. This is the routine that you wanna do if you want your hair to feel weightless and soft and moisturized, but not compromise definition at all. I am so impressed by this routine. I cannot wait to do this over and over again when I want these soft, fluffy curls again. Now I'm gonna show you guys a refreshed routine, so stay tuned for that. Hey everyone, so I'm back with my hair in a clip. I'm on day five, six, past four, I always lose count. Um, but I talk to you guys on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here it is. But I talked to you guys on my Instagram and I did a poll and I asked you guys if you wanted to see the scrunching jelly my usual way, so just like raking and praying hands or if you wanted to see it scrunching since it's called the scrunching jelly or if you wanted to see both and you guys said both so I decided to do it my normal way for the wash day you just saw and now I'm gonna refresh doing the scrunching technique. I have done a video where I did a comparison between scrunching and raking gel. You can actually click it wherever it is and I was not a fan of scrunching it. I don't know if it was the product combination or just something I did, maybe my protein moisture balance was off, but it was not my favorite. That was not my favorite, but, ooh, someone texted me. It was not my favorite, but I wanted to give it a chance because it might just not be the right gel for scrunching, and a lot of people like to use this to scrunch, so I thought I would give it a try. So what I'm gonna do differently for this routine is what I usually do for refreshes. Don't be scared, my hair is, not looking its best. Um, so I am going to scrunch in sections and apply the product in sections instead of just doing half my head and then the other half of my head. I'm sure my hair looks crazy, I can't see, but I'm sure it looks crazy. Um, instead of just scrunching it all. So I'm going to section my hair in a pretty large bottom section. Okay, so my hair is now detangled. I like to get my hair pretty wet when I refresh. That's just my personal preference. I've tried a few different refresh techniques and this is the one that works the best for me. You can actually see a video on my refresh technique if you are interested, but I'm basically doing the same technique in this video. I'm gonna go in with the Umberto Giannini Banana Butter. I love this stuff. This is gonna be a product I know I'm going to be using again and again. It smells like a tropical banana smoothie, like you're gonna drink this on the beach. So good, so, so good. Anyways, so I'm just gonna take a little bit, honestly, like that much. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it on my nail. So I'm going to rub it between my hands so it's so good, so you can, oh, there's the hair. So you can see it kind of like emulsifies. I didn't actually even put water, but it gets nice and creamy. And I'm just going to rake and do some praying hands on one section. Make sure I get those ends. And this product, I honestly feel like it made my hair just buttery soft. All right, now I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna grab around the same amount. And I honestly feel like this product can be used for people that do have finer hair and not like as much hair as I do. You just have to use a tiny amount and then emulsify it with water. And I honestly think you can benefit from it as well. All right. So now that I've distributed the product, I'm just gonna put my hair towards the back. Since I do tend to do things on like my left and right side, I kinda just like to make sure that there's also product being distributed 
towards the back of my head. I find I get the dreaded cowlick in the center of my head sometimes and you can avoid it by doing your hair towards the back but it's just so much easier to style left and right so I sort of just sacrifice that for easier styling. Next I'm going to go in with my handy dandy tangle teaser. This is the large one and yes my tangle teaser styling video is coming. I'm so sorry you guys. I said I was coming out with it so long ago and every time I just would go to film, I, oop my dog's barking, every time I would go to film, I'm just brushing my hair through by the way, um, nothing special, every time I would go to film it just never happened so I'm sorry, it's coming, I promise. So I'm just going to brush my hair through, just to make sure that the product is, ooh, the product is distributed. But I guess today you'll get a little sneak peek of my styling technique. So now I'm gonna go in with the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Scrunching Jelly, and I'm gonna scrunch it. So I'm gonna shut up, put some music in the background, and you guys can see me quickly brush styling. So it'll be a little sneak peek of my Tangle Teaser technique, and I'll be scrunching throughout my entire head, and I'll be back at the end. hard to see so I had to just get a little more, more up close. This is what my curls are looking like. I brushed out my entire head as per usual and now I'm just gonna take a teeny teeny tiny bit of the scrunching jelly. Sorry there's a little bit of banana butter on it. Um, just a little bit honestly and I'm gonna flip my head upside down and side to side and I'm gonna scrunch this in just to ensure these juicy clumps that I made with my brush are gonna stay that way and dry nice and chunky. So I'm gonna grab some water. And I like to do this with the gels that are on the thicker side and gels that I use a little bit of just to make sure that it's getting well distributed. So I'm just gonna rub it between my hands. I'm gonna flip my head upside down. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna flip my head upside down very carefully. And I like to kind of give it a little shake. Hopefully you guys can see. Sometimes I kind of like to just shake apart any of my super chunky clumps just so they don't take forever to dry. And now I'm going to flip my head to the side. This also is really great for making sure you get a volume so your hair doesn't just stick flat down to your scalp. Now I'm going to flip my head upside down one more time and do what I like to call flat palm scrunch. So instead of squeezing and kind of squunching, so instead of squeezing your hair, I'm just keeping my palms flat and just piling my curls on top of my head. And I find this really helps get some nice juicy ringlets. I'm going to sit for about 15 minutes, then diffuse, and I'll be back with my finished results. Please excuse my nails. <laughs> So 
these are my finished results for this refresh and I'm in love with the scrunching technique too. I'm not one to scrunch, but this routine with this gel, it's something else. I actually really, really love scrunching this gel. I think for me personally, I'll continue raking and praying hands in the gel just because I love that technique. I find it just gives me such longevity with my curls. But if you are someone that loves a scrunching gel, the scrunching jelly, it's it. This is it, guys. <laughs> that is it for today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know if you liked this video and let me know if you tried any of Umberto Giannini's products. Love you guys and see you in the next one. Bye.